Hello, so today I'm going to be talking about what is it that you need to start the processing of buying a home. In this video, I will tell you three steps to start the process of buying a home. Also, I will put on the comment below at the end of this video, a video that I did that it says, under contract, now what? These are all information that you guys have been asking, so I just decided to provide you with videos. It would be easier to explain. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. Okay, so what would you need to start the homing process? Number one, get a realtor that you can trust. Yes, even though you might hear, get a lender first, but that realtor should have a group of uh, mortgage lenders that they can they work with already, and then they can provide for you that fits you the best. Number two, get organized. Get a folder that said maybe that says uh, mortgage application documents. Okay, and I will list the names of the document that you might have so that way when you're ready all you got to do is go to that folder so a the last two years of tax return make sure you get all pages even though if it's blank tax return everything w-2s or 1099s B the most recent pay stubs uh, normally two to three months and if you don't have just ask your employer maybe they might have it but if you get a check from your boss Go to your bank statement. You should have um, a copy of when you deposit it. C, bank statements, all pages. This happens all the time that people get the bank statement and it's always missing the blank page. All of them, even if they're blank, all of them, from beginning to end. Um, and I would say between two to three months on that as well. Just have it ready. D, driver's license or like any legal ID or in some cases a green card, alien card if you have it. Um, e, your social security number. F, the transcript. Now, this is very important. A lot of lenders don't ask this up front, but sometimes at the middle of the transaction when we're like close to closing, then they want to ask that and sometimes it could take 10 days to get it and that could put you behind of closing so just order your transcript um when you order when you go to the irs it would give you op you can choose options and one of them would be for applying for mortgage just go ahead and hit that and order it uh, that way when you do start the process and they ask off of the paperwork send that with them as well now these paperwork that I just told you from A to F, this is just for you to start. It all depends on everyone has, um, are different, you know, it's case by case. So then we have these other documents that I will name as well. And that's G, child support, if you get child support or if you pay any child support. H, social security, if you get social security, if you receive it. Um, I, retirement plan, J, divorce papers if you have any, or, you know, death paper if you went to probation, anything that you might need like that, get it. Um, K, any other income from, um, that you get, any other side job, or maybe if you have a rental, like a house that you rent and you get income from that, get those information as well. And L, for the VA, you get a, the certificate of eligibility, the form DD-212. Now your lender will ask that for you, but if you can get it ahead of time, the more paper you have ahead of time, the quicker the process goes. And, and it will be easier for you to avoid any hiccups. Now, these are some of the things you need to gather up if you're planning to be a homeowner. And just so you know what they'll be asking ahead of time. Um, that way you won't be aggravated or, or surprised about of the amount of paperwork that they'll be asking you. And it's pretty much standard with all of them. 
and it's more information than it was required back in the past. They're just trying to avoid another mortgage um, crisis like 2008. Just be mindful and just, um, just have it all ready and organized. And that brings us to number three, apply for the mortgage. They'll provide you with a pre-approval um, and that pre-approval will be basically the most you qualify for. And with that, you'll be able to put in an offer. With some people, if they have cash, then they, um, they'll just have to get a proof of funds from the bank. But just remember that for you that is applying for a loan, this is the most you qualify for. And usually with my client, I try to ask them what they feel comfortable paying monthly. And then I ask the lender the same question, what's the most you guys qualify? That way, that number is important because if you real if you're real to know how to figure out these numbers while choosing for the house, it makes it easier for everyone, and you will it will um, you'll know for sure you'll be able to qualify at the end. So now that you have all of this ready, then it's time to look for the house. I hope this information helped you. If you're looking to buy or sell in the Tampa Bay area, give me a call. I would love to help you. And thank you for watching this video. Go ahead, click the subscribe button if you haven't already so you can have more information like this. Leave a comment if you have any or if you know of any, if you have any other questions below. And also share this video with somebody that might need this information. See you next time.